Hello American, Argentinian and all international viewers. Welcome to the control room hosted by Series Greener Solutions. My name is Hervé and as you may notice, I have a strong French accent. In this first video, we will talk about the eco loop. Before you can actually understand the details, I will need to go through the basics in the simplest way possible. To begin, the EcoLoop is an innovative geothermal system that integrates all the features of a heating, ventilation, air conditioning and dehumidification system, also called HVACD. The EcoLoop not only does all of this, but it does it more efficiently than traditional systems, utilizing the energy of the ground. Let's start with the HVAC basics and we'll cover the dehumidification in another video. Everything starts with this principle. Heat transfer occurs only from hot to cold. The second principle is the refrigeration cycle, where the material that is responsible for the heat transfer with a fluid is called refrigerant. In this cycle, there are four main components the evaporator, the compressor, the condenser, and the expansion valve. The refrigerant is enclosed in the loop and cycles clockwise or counterclockwise depending on whether we are trying to heat or cool the space. Let's take a look at a cooling scenario. We want to extract the heat from the space. The air comes in contact with the cooling coil where it transfers its heat to the refrigerant. The refrigerant then evaporates from liquid to vapor. At this moment, that's why it's called an evaporator. The warm vapor refrigerant is moved to the compressor where it's going to increase its temperature and pressure with the help of electrical energy. Then it's flowing to another coil where the refrigerant is now in contact with the heat sink, which can be outside air, where it loses its heat. By doing so, the refrigerant transforms from vapor back to liquid. This is why it's called condenser. The refrigerant is now cool but at a high pressure. It then goes through the expansion valve where it releases its pressure and it's ready to go through the evaporator again. The entire cycle goes on and on to remove heat and keep the space cool. And now let's take a look at the heating scenario. To heat the space we use the same cycle in the opposite direction. We now take the heat from the heat source through the condenser. The refrigerant condensates, making it hot. It flows to the compressor where the pressure increases. Now we have a high pressure, high temperature refrigerant that gives the thermal energy to the space through the evaporator coil. Then the refrigerant flows to the expansion valve where it releases pressure to make it a low temperature, low pressure state. From there, it is ready to take heat again. All the cycle goes on and on to heat the space. I mentioned geothermal system, but what is that? A geothermal system is composed of three components, a heat source, a heat sink, and a heat exchanger. If we want to heat, we use the ground as the heat source and the space as the heat sink. On the opposite side, if we want to cool, the space becomes the heat source and the ground the heat sink. The heat is transferred via the heat exchanger containing water or a glycol water blend to avoid freezing. The main reason why we use water rather than air is that it has three times more capacity to heat and cool. One of the advantages of using the ground is that its temperature is fairly stable throughout the year. The closer to the surface, the more it will fluctuate. The deeper you go, the more stable the temperature is. There are typically two configurations of geothermal systems. The first one is vertical boring. It consists of drilled boreholes similar to a well that go down to a few hundred feet below ground level, reaching a very stable temperature. The other option can be horizontal coils or mats, which usually require to be installed a few feet underground, being more susceptible to seasonal fluctuation. However, it's cheaper in terms of installation compared to a vertical system. All of this brings us to the topic of interest of today, the EcoLoop. 
We covered the basics of how an HVAC system works to cool or heat and what a geothermal system is. Let's now talk about how the EcoLoop combines all of these principles together. We have a space that can be either a greenhouse or a headhouse, which needs to be conditioned. It will be the heat source if we want to cool it, or the heat sink if we want to heat it. We also have heat pumps. They recirculate the air coming from the space while conditioning it. It also filters the air keeping the space biosecure. The heat is exchanged thanks to the refrigerant cycle explained before. This heat is then transferred between the refrigerant and water thanks to an auxiliary coil. The water flows through the horizontal mats buried under the footprint of the building. These mats are made of small pipes which increase the surface area in contact with the ground and their ability to exchange heat. The ground is a major component of the system and provides us free energy. We can either take heat from it or dump heat into it. But what are the major benefits of the EcoLoop exactly? It creates zero shading and occupies no space inside the greenhouse, allowing significantly more sunlight for plants. The mats are buried under the footprint of the building so they don't require outdoor space. Thanks to the closed loop design, the EcoLoop requires very little makeup water because it continuously recirculates the same water, making it more sustainable. The entire system runs on electricity only. It doesn't need gas-based energy, reducing the overall CO2 footprint. It also allows for potential rebate offerings due to renewable energy aspect and energy savings. The EcoLoop is made for expansion. It can adapt to any size of facility and the number of greenhouses is not a limiting factor since each one has its own EcoLoop system. The system is highly redundant thanks to having multiple heat pumps and water loop circuits. If one part of the system breaks, the rest can work without being impacted. Its built-in air treatment technologies allow to grow in a biosecure space. The EcoLoop is specifically designed around plant health with an optimal climate control for higher yields. As you can see, the EcoLoop is a fully integrated solution for growing any crop in any location with less energy required than traditional systems. It saves you operational cost and reduces your environmental footprint. It allows you to grow in a tightly controlled environment based on vapor pressure deficit and also takes advantage of the free light from the sun and free energy from the earth. It is a tool that combines simple principles, complex design, innovative technology, and what nature can give us to grow better plants at a lower cost. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new today. A special thanks to Marie Jerez for her drawings and creative work. Follow us on our social media and contact us for more information. We are Serious Greenhouse Solutions designing for a better future.